Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. And thanks for joining me. I'm Brother Bill. And this is morning prayer for Good Friday, April the 2nd. Please join me. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Psalm 22, and please recite it with me. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me and from the words of my distress? O oh my God, I cry in the day, but you do not hear me. I cry in the night, and I find no rest. But you alone are holy, O oh, you enthroned upon the praises of Israel. Our forebears trusted in you. They trusted, and you delivered them. They cried out to you and were delivered. They trusted in you and were not put to shame. But I am just a worm and a nobody, a reproach of all, despised by the people. All that see me laugh me to scorn. They curl their lips, they shake their heads, saying, He trusted in God. Let God deliver him, if God is his friend. But you, God, took me out of the womb. You gave me hope upon my mother's breast. I was entrusted to you since my birth. You were my God from my beginning. Do not leave me alone, for trouble is near, and there is none to help. Many bulls have surrounded me. Strong bulls of Bashan have beset me all around. They open wide their mouths at me, like a ravening and a roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and my bones are disjointed. My heart is like wax melted within my breast. My mouth is as dry as a pot shard, and my tongue cleaves to my jaws. You have brought me to the dust of the grave. For dogs have surrounded me. The assembly of the wicked have enclosed me. They pierce my hands and my feet, and I can count all my bones. They look and stare at me. They divide my garments among themselves and cast lots for my robe. O oh God, come to my assistance. O oh my strength, make haste to help me. Deliver me from the sword and my life from the grip of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth, from the horns of these oxen. I will declare your name to my people. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise you. All you that fear the Most High, praise God. All children of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel, glorify God. Stand in awe, you children of Israel. For God has not despised nor scorned the poor, nor looked away from them, but when they cried to God, they were heard. I will praise you in the great congregation. I will pay my vows before them that fear you. The poor shall eat and be satisfied, that they, they that seek you shall praise you. May their hearts live forever. All the world shall remember and turn to you, and all the families of the nations shall worship before you. For the kingdom is yours, and you are the governor among the nations. All the mighty of the earth shall worship. All who are mortal shall bow before you, for none can keep their own soul alive. My soul shall live for you, and my children shall serve you too. They will be known as yours forever. They shall come and shall declare your righteousness to a generation yet to be born, these things that you have done. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? A reading from the Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, beginning at verse 16. Life as the ungodly see it. But the ungodly, by their words and deeds, summoned death. Considering him a friend, they pined away and made a covenant with him, because they are fit to belong to his company. For they reasoned unsoundly, saying to themselves, Short and sorrowful is our life, and there is no remedy when a life comes to its end. 
and no one has been known to return from Hades. Let us lie in wait for the righteous man, because he is inconvenient to us and opposes our actions. He reproaches us for sins against the law and accuses us of sins against our training. He professes to have knowledge of God and calls himself a child of the Lord. He became to us a reproof of our thoughts, and the very sight of him is a burden to us because his manner of life is unlike that of others, and his ways are strange. We are considered by him as something base, and he avoids our ways as unclean. He calls the last end of the righteous happy, and boasts that God is his Father. Let us see if his words are true, and let us test what will happen at the end of his life. For if the righteous man is God's child, he will help him, and will deliver him from the hand of his adversaries. Let us test him with insult and torture, so that we may find out how gentle he is, and make trial of his forbearance. Let us condemn him to a shameful death, for according to what he says, he will be protected. Thus they reasoned, but they were led astray, for their wickedness blinded them, and they did not know the secret purposes of God, nor hope for the wages of holiness, nor discerned the prize for blameless souls. Here ends the lesson. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. You are our strength, dear God, for you have loved us in our poverty. Rule our lives and help us to remember you each day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus now and forever. Amen.